Hello, my name is Vic and I'm back to discuss more about EOS and preferred currency dot news. So for today, I'm going to show you the daily newsletter and the main stories of the day. So before anything else, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is just my opinion. So you must do your own research first before deciding for yourself, okay? Well, let so let's proceed to this website. It's called preferredcurrency.news. And in this website, you can receive a newsletter um, daily in your email for $15 a month or $180 a year, right? So it's very cheap, okay? So I'm going to show you the sample of the newsletter. So this is the newsletter, right? So I'm going to discuss to you the three main stories of the newsletter. So, first one is Russian startup to create blockchain based copyright network, Uzbek Capital, right? So, so a Russian intellectual property startup has signed a memorandum with officials from Uzbek Capital Tashkent to integrate blockchain for use in copyright. So, Russia State Use Agency Task reports Tuesday, October 16. So, the president of the Russian National Intellectual Property Transactions Coordination Center IP chain Henry Kushevsky met the head of Tashkent's Department of Innovation, Jasur Zakidom, during the Open Innovations Forum in Moscow. So, both parties agreed to implement decentralized solutions to protect copyrights in different areas such as intellectual property and patent records. So, let's proceed. So, once we click this one, Will redirect us to a website called PCN.today, a news website. Right, so this is also updated daily. Okay. So let's proceed. So Zakado further explained that blockchain could help develop the whole copyright sphere and make it profitable, noting that scientists, investors, and creators do not usually understand how to monetize their intellectual property and adding. Our partnership will likely give an impetus to the development of the intellectual property area in Uzbekistan. So from now on, they are going to know that the copyright actually works and is profitable. So as a capital, we have to help authors and to show them ways to earn money. Okay? So as per IP Chain's press release, the program will start with digitizing Tashkent's patent records likely deploy the IP chain ecosystem on the basis of the local patent office. So as Cointelegraph reported in April, IP chain signed a deal to digitize patent records and create a blockchain based database for the state patent office of Kyrgyzstan. According to the head of IP chain, similar projects have already been discussed with Armenian officials as well. Okay. So Uzbek President Shak Shavkat Mirziyoyev have recently taken several important steps to promote blockchain technology in the country. So this is very great news, guys. Right? So that's the first uh, main story or the top headlines of the day brought to you by, by PreferredCurrency.News newsletter. So let's proceed to the following story. So, Qtum Blockchain becomes Amazon Web Services partner in China. So, Amazon Web Services or AWS China division in, is partnering with public blockchain project Qtum. So, the partnership sees the on demand cloud computing giant working with a cryptocurrency project with a $325 million market capitalization, making it the 29th largest cryptocurrency to develop blockchain as a service, so BAAS. Solutions for enterprises and developers. So let's read more. It will also redirect us to this website, so PCN not today. Okay. Revealed exclusively to Coindesk, the partnership will allow AWS users to develop and launch smart contracts. Quickly, efficiently, and cost-effectively using an Amazon machine page or AMI, according to a press release issued by the QTOM team. So Simon Wang, head of territory business development of 
AWS China confirmed the partnership, telling CoinDesk in an email. Utom are now an AWS technology partner and one of the partner network members. So based in Singapore, Qtom had which raised $1 million last January from investors including Anthony De Yoru, OKCoin okay, CEO Star Shu, Bitfund founder Shaolai Li, and Finmoji partner Bo Xin launched its public blockchain a year ago. So Qtom's AMI was listed on the Amazon Web Services marketplace in July. And since then, the group behind the cryptocurrency has been moving toward a broader technological partnership. Utom's marketing director, John Sheena, told Coindesk, okay? So the, top, the two companies have been discussing this since April, he added. Members of the Amazon Paper Network, according to the company's website, received business, technical sales, and marketing resources to help expand their businesses and support their customers. Okay, so that's the second main story. Utom Blockchain becomes Amazon Web Services partner in China. Alright, so let's go back. And last um, headlines is VeChain or VET experiences a flurry of developments amidst the NVGL partnership at Flair or PLA sale on Tor Block platform. So signing of the Norway China Business Summit 2018 by several high profile personalities. Partnership aimed to achieve environmental sustainability goals set by the UN, Player and Safe Haven Allegiance. So the blockchain technology-based supply chain management firm, VeChain, has witnessed considerable developments within the past few days. So the Singapore-based nonprofit entity took to Binium on October 16, 2018, shed a light to the high-profile signing ceremony of the NVGL. We chain digital low carbon ecosystem in Beijing. Proceed. It will redirect us to this website also. Okay. So high profile dignitaries witnessed the, witnessed the signing. Okay. So signing of the DNVGL V chain low digital low. Carbon Ecosystem at the Norway-China Business Summit 2018 was attended by the Majesty's King Harald V and Queen Sonja of Norway. So, the signing of the document has officially commenced a partnership between the Norwegian assurance giant TNVGL and important partners of the 13th Chinese Five-Year Plan including BYD, ICC, Vichain, Tsinghua University, Sino US, Relations Research Center at Shanghai Shandao Food, a subsidiary of Bright Foods. So, the newly formed partnership will propel DNV's efforts to work with the UN to achieve the laid down environmentally focused sustainable development goals. Okay? As the event was attended by the several influential personnel, it's important to point out the gist of the newly Christian ecosystem. The partnership aims to leverage the VeChain Thor blockchain and IoT devices to keep track of every single carbon emission reduction behavior of enterprises and individuals alike. So this will be achieved with the help of smart contracts, which will compute the carbon reduction equivalent and subsequently issue carbon credits. The medium post reads in part. So the solution distributes carbon credits to enterprises and individuals involved in emission reductions. Carbon credits are transferred through individual users in the ecology of enterprise consumption activities to achieve the ecological diversion between different enterprises. So the credits can then promote and enhance the sales of enterprise products or services. So it's worth pointing out that the underlying technology powering the ecosystem, this ecosystem has already been deployed and is being tested by the ecosystem partners. With BYD's electric vehicles scheduled to go on sales in 2019. So, this is very important, also, guys. As you can see, these are the three top um, news brought to you by birdcurrency.news in their newsletter. So once you subscribe at this website for $15 a month or $180 a year, you'll receive this and you're notified. Uh, ahead of us, all right, or, or everyone else. So you'll be notified 12 hours prior before be this news are is being published. Okay. So 
right so I'm going to um, also share to you that this website also has an affiliate um, program so in this program you can earn cryptocurrencies for seven levels deep right so all you have to do is just to click here or this at the upper right corner of the website or it is at the bottom part of the newsletter set so this this one become an affiliate so you're going to earn cryptocurrencies there all right so once you're already here click register then put the infos here or fill out the info form and then you can read the terms and conditions and once you have terms and conditions submit application and then you'll receive an email uh, confirming of your membership so once you already have your login you can log in and you can um, um, view your affiliate link at the creatives in the menu once you're ready in okay so this is the affiliate program brought to you by preferredcurrency.new so this is very very important also guys right so um, there's also a lot of um, parts here in the newsletter so I'm going to discuss it to you later on the next video but for now these are the three main stories so the first one is Russian startup to create blockchain based corporate network in Uzbek capital so this is very very great because as you can see um, The, uh, the Rus a Russian intellectual property startup has signed a memorandum the f with officials from Uzbek Capital Tashkent to integrate blockchain for use in copyright. Right? So this is very good also. The next one is Qtom. Blockchain becomes Amazon Web Services partner in China. So this is also um, good news. Okay. Right? And also VeChain. Experiences a flurry of developments amidst the NVGL partnership at Lair PLA sale on Tor Block platform. Alright, so also found here in ECN.today are a lot of news. So let's open ECN.today. So let's wait for it to load. So here it is. So this website is pcn.today, so it's a news website, it's updated daily, but once you become a member or a subscriber um, for preferred currency, that news will be, uh, will be informed ahead of the news here. So it will be ahead 12 hours prior uh, before they publish it here at their website. So you can see there's a lot of articles here and you won't get bored. Okay. So also, um, you can click Bitcoin here. You want to focus mainly on Bitcoin news, right? So there's a category Bitcoin. So let's um, click this one and try. So here it is. Bitcoin for Toronto-based clothing charity relies solely on Bitcoin Cash, right? Right. So also, our other alt altcoins like EOS, Ethereum, Litecoin, and other. So other consists of all the other so currencies also. Right. So we can also click here for the news. Okay. Right. So that is. The news and of course their contact info so if you want some inquiries or clarifications about some news and contact them at this website right here it is 
okay so you want to, if you want to get notified so be be the first to get notified of the new updates please subscribe at this website so this website is very very nice okay so it is only for $15 a month or $180 a year so that is all guys right so see you on the next video and please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe bye bye